time and work a very interesting question based only on variables let's see how many of you get the answer it says pipes a and b are fitted to a tank a alone and b alone can fill the tank in a minutes and b minutes respectively a is first open for x minutes and b is open for y minutes did the tank overflow did the tank overflow recall the concepts of data sufficiency Chalo, let's let's take it up this is the last question from the session today here we go <coughs> Look at what it says. Each question given below is followed by three statements. Study the question and the statements. Identify which of the statements is or are necessary to answer the question and mark the appropriate option. Look at what it says. Pipes A and B are fitted to a tank. A alone and B alone can fill it in A minutes and B minutes respectively. A minutes and B minutes respectively. A is first open for X minutes and then B is open for Y minutes. Did the tank overflow? Did the tank overflow? So very interesting one. He says a, a tank has got two pipes A and B. A alone can do the job in A minutes. B alone can do the job in B minutes respectively. A is open only for X minutes and then B is open for Y minutes. First you open A for x minutes then you open b for y minutes did the tank overflow understand this question will have a yes or no as an answer did the tank overflow yes the tank did overflow did the tank overflow no the tank did not overflow that's how we'll answer right did team india win yes or no there cannot be any other answer I mean, I mean, let's assume that tie is not an option possible. Draw is not an option in, in a match. So did India win? Yes. Did India win? No. Did you go to your office today? Yes, I did go to my office today. Did you go to your office today? No, I did not go to my office today. Did the tank overflow? Yes or no? There are only two types of answers possible. So we have to find out from which of these statements can we determine the answer as yes or no. Remember, no can also be an answer. Usually students or you know, people who solve such questions get confused at the point that if they get no, they think the answer is incorrect. I mean, the statement is not sufficient. But remember, no is a correct answer. No can be a correct answer. You, you understand. I mean, I gave this example last time also, some time back when we were discussing one such question, yes or no or true or false based question, right? Uh, a, a wife cooks something for the husband, right? And then the question is, how does it taste or does it taste good? Well, the expectation is yes always, but the answer can be no. No, it doesn't taste good. No is the right answer, right? I mean, you don't accept it. That's a different story. I mean, jokes apart, the point I'm trying to make is no is also a correct answer for such questions. It's a true or false type of question. Is Rahul Gandhi the Prime Minister of India? No. No. That's the answer. Now, when you get no here, it's not wrong. It's the correct answer. So just remember, if the statement gives no, it is sufficient for us to answer the question because no is the answer that you're getting from that statement. Similarly, if the statement says yes, that statement is sufficient because it says yes, the tank did overflow. The statement says no, the tank did not overflow. Okay, so be very clear uh, with this, right? Usually these kind of questions are asked in reasoning. When, when reasoning is kind of uh, framed into data sufficiency, you get these yes or no type of questions. Any any data sufficiency question that start with starts with is, are, did, are all like is x greater than two? Yes or no? That's it, right? Is uh, is let's say uh, Rahul Gandhi the PM of India, of for example, right? I mean, don't take any political view on this, right? Yes or no is the answer, right? E is Trump the president of United States? Yes or no is the answer there, okay? So, so keep that in mind. Now let's go back to this question. So you know that, see, when will the work be over? A has worked for X minutes. B has worked for Y minutes. So what is A's capacity? You know that A's capacity is one by A because A can do the full job in A minutes. So A's capacity is one by A. What is B's capacity? One by B. B can do the whole, B can fill the whole tank in B minutes. So B's capacity is one by B. A worked for how many minutes? A worked for X minutes. B worked for how many minutes? B worked for Y minutes. So what's the total work done? The total work done, total work done will be equal to what? One by A into X plus one by B into Y. 
the total work done is 1 by a into x capacity of a into the time for which a works plus capacity of b into the time for which p works so what does it give you x by a plus y by b this is the total work done now if see what is the total work you know that total work is one unit total work is usually one unit yes or no in time and work also when you're solving a question we always assume that total work is one unit one unit is done meaning work is done if you do more than one unit then you're doing extra work if you do less than one unit then you have done only some part of the work here did the tank overflow when will the tank overflow if the work done is more than one unit yes or no overflow I mean, understand and understand the point here, right? The tank will overflow if total work is more than one unit. Let's assume the total work is W, right? It will overflow if W is greater than one. You have done more than what is required. You have filled the tank and then you are doing more than that. It will overflow. It will not overflow if w is less than or equal to 1 see w equals to 1 means it is perfectly full up to the brim w less than 1 is not full so it will not overflow if it is less or equal overflow if it is more than 1 if w is more than 1 then the tank overflows right if w is more than 1 if w is more than 1 then the tank overflows if w is less than or equal to 1 w here is total work right total work then the tank will not overflow so all we have to check from the three statements now is is w more than one or less than one or equal to one if it is able to tell us that w is more than one or less than one or equal to one then it is giving us the answer whether it is yes or no doesn't matter is it giving us more than one or less than one or equal to one if it is able to give more or less or equal then that statement is sufficient if it is unable to give more less or equal then we will say that it is insufficient okay so let's look at statement now. Statement 1 says, see, we know that your total work done is x by a plus y by b. Just remember this part. W in this case is what? x by a plus y by b. Why is it x by a plus y by b? Because a's capacity is 1 by a, b's capacity is 1 by b. They have worked for x and y minutes respectively. So x into 1 by a plus y into 1 by b. x by a plus y by b. This is the work done. In every state equation here, statement here, values of x and y in terms of a and b have been given to us. So we have to use these values of a and b in this w formula that we have got now and find out if it is more than 1 or less than 1 or equal to 1. Okay, substitute. So what happens? If I go by option 1, w will be equal to what? x is equal to b by 2. So b by 2 by a plus y is equal to a by 2. a by 2 by b. Simplify this, what happens? So this will equal to b by 2a plus a by 2b. Take the LCM, I think LCM is 2AB. This becomes B squared plus A squared. If I simplify. So total work comes out to be B squared plus A squared by 2AB. Yeah? I mean 2AB is the LCM, right? So 2A is given B into B, B squared. 2B is given, so A into A squared. You, you understand? Total work done in this case will be B squared plus A squared by 2AB. Now is B squared plus A squared by 2AB more than 1 or less than 1? Is B squared plus A squared divided by 2AB more than 1 or less than 1? Are we able to determine that? You should you should do it smartly. You will be able to determine that. I'll tell you how. See, a squared plus b squared can be taken as a minus b whole squared plus 2ab. What is a minus b whole squared? a squared plus b squared minus 2ab. That minus 2ab and plus 2ab gets cancelled. So you will be left with a squared plus b squared. Yes or no? This you know, basic fund of algebra, right? a squared plus b squared equals to a minus b whole squared plus 2ab. So if I express this numerator, a square plus b square, b square b square plus a square in this format. What do we get? A minus b whole squared plus 2ab by 2ab. So if I simplify it further, what do I get? A minus, sorry. If I simplify this further, what do I get? Error is number. This error is not working, sorry. Hmm. What do we get? A minus B whole squared by 2AB plus 2AB by 2AB is 1. 2AB by 2AB is 1. Now see what happened. In statement 1, we have found W is equal to 
वन प्लस ए माइनस बी होल स्क्वायर बाय टू ए बी एंड यू नो दैट ए माइनस बी होल स्क्वायर बाय टू ए बी विल बी पॉजिटिव वैल्यू ओनली बिकॉज न्यू मैटर इज द होल स्क्वायर ए माइनस बी द होल स्क्वायर इट विल बी पॉजिटिव डिवाइड बाय टू ए बी सो ओवरऑल दिस इज गोइंग टू बी वन प्लस समथिंग अकॉर्डिंग टू स्टेटमेंट वन डब्ल्यू इज वन प्लस समथिंग सो इज इट नॉट इज इट नॉट मोर देन वन Yes or no? We got W equals to one plus some extra value, whatever that value is. Is it not more than one? Yes. So statement one says that the work done, the total work done W will be more than one unit. More than one unit means what? You will overflow the tank. These pipes, if they work for x minutes and y minutes respectively, the tank will overflow because the work done is more than one. Hence, statement one is sufficient. Why is it sufficient? Because statement one tells us that the tank will overflow. Yes, it will overflow. we are getting the answer as yes so statement 1 is sufficient even if we get the answer as no then also we should say statement 1 is sufficient because that also is a possible answer when we are unable to decide only in that case we will say the statements are not sufficient you are getting it when we are unable to decide whether it is more than one or less than one then we shall say that it is insufficient but here we are able to decide we are able to decide that w is more than one so tank will overflow do the same drama for statement 2 as well according to statement 2 what will w be this time x equals to a by 2 y equals to b by 2 so do that see we know that total work is what x by a plus y by b so x equals to a by 2 a by 2 by a plus y equals to b by 2 b by 2 by b what do we get a and a gets cancelled b and b gets cancelled we'll get 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 which is equal to 1 what did we get we got w is equal to 1 will the tank overflow no the tank will not overflow because when w is equal to 1 you are you have filled the tank up to the brim will it overflow no this time we are getting the answer as no so is statement 2 sufficient or not don't say statement 2 is not sufficient statement 2 is still sufficient we have got the answer no no is one of the possible answers statement 1 says yes statement 2 says no but both of them are saying something right when they are not saying anything then you should say it's not sufficient One is sufficient because it says tank will overflow. Two is also sufficient because it says tank will not overflow. Now check for three. Check for three. What happens? According to statement three, I'm short on space here. Let me just write it. Right? Statement three says W equals to. This time it says x equals to y equals to a plus b by four. X equals to a plus b by four. Y equals to a plus b by four. So a plus b by four a plus y is also a plus b by four. A plus b by 4b. Simplify now. So what is W now? If you take, uh, if you take 4ab as LCM, let's say. Um, let me just think. How do I express this? See, we should be able to decide. We should be able to express the whole thing in in terms of one plus or minus something. Mm. What do I do? Let let me take four AB as LCM. Four AB as LCM. Four AB is LCM, right? So this will become four A into B. B into A plus B plus. Here four B is LCM, right? So this will become. Yeah, four B is LCM. It will become A into A plus B. Yeah, B into A plus B. You understand? B and B gets cancelled. A plus B by four A. Here A and A gets cancelled. A plus B by four B. Yeah. So what happens? What do we get? We get uh, B A plus B square plus A square plus B. A. So basically, this is going to be this is going to be A squared plus B squared plus two A B by four A B. Yes or no? This is a into a square, b into b b square, b a and b a two a b a square plus b square plus two a b by four a b. Now, how do I write this as? Ha, again, again, a square plus b square go by the same funda, no? A square plus b square can be taken as a minus b the whole square plus two a b. So this becomes a minus b whole squared plus two a b plus two a b. You understand? This a minus b the whole square plus two a b is only the representation of a square plus b square plus two a b by four a b. Now what happens? Again, if you observe, this a minus b whole square by four a b plus four a b by four a b is one, like the first statement, right? So we get a minus b whole square a minus b whole square by four a b 
फोर ए बी प्लस टू ए बी प्लस टू ए बी फोर ए बी फोर ए बी बाई फोर ए बी इज वन दिस इज द टोटल वर्क इज इट मोर देन वन और लेस देन वन डेफिनेटली मोर देन वन बिकॉज वी आर गेटिंग ए माइनस बी होल्ड स्क्वायर बाई फोर ए बी प्लस वन इट इज मोर देन वन इट इज ग्रेटर देन वन दिस इज ऑल्सो ग्रेटर देन वन राइट इट इज ग्रेटर देन वन वन प्लस समथिंग सो विल द टैंक ओवर फ्लो येस द टैंक विल ओवर फ्लो सो इस स्टेटमेंट थ्री गिविंग द आंसर येस इट इज गिविंग द आंसर सो और आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन शुड बी एनी वन ऑफ द थ्री स्टेटमेंट आर इनफ सो ऑप्शन वन वन एंड टू ओनली और थ्री ओनली इज रॉन्ग ऑप्शन टू वन एंड थ्री ओनली और वट एवर दैट ओनली इट्स इट्स रॉन्ग ऑप्शन थ्री वन एंड थ्री ओनली और टू ओनली इज रॉन्ग ऑप्शन फोर वन ओनली और टू ओनली इज पार्शियली करेक्ट बिकॉज एक्चुअल आंसर इज वन ओनली और टू ओनली और थ्री ओनली सो दिस ऑल्सो इज रॉन्ग आंसर शुड बी नन ऑफ दिस वट इज वट इज द रियल आंसर एनी वन ऑफ द थ्री स्टेटमेंट दैट इज द रियल आंसर दैट इज दैट इज द करेक्ट आंसर any one of the three statements is enough for us to solve this question none of this none of this right any one of the three statements sufficient remember statement 1 and statement 3 tells us yes the tank will overflow statement 2 though it tells us no the tank will overflow it is actually giving me the answer it will tell me it will tell me yes or no so option 5 none of this is the answer the correct answer the actual answer has to be any one of the three statements any one of the three statements